This is Borobudur. It is in Indonesia. I always thought this temple was super weird because it's perfectly geometric except for the circles in the middle of the temple. They're like, they're not quite perfect. The rest of the geometry, my last video, I showed you the simulation of the Kladni patterns. If you put sand on a plate and you play sound through it, it creates geometric shapes. But if you freeze the simulation right here, yep, it's perfect. They're not perfect circles because of the frequency. Each of the bells is a focal point for the frequency. That's why those circles are not perfect, except for the central one. Borobudur itself is a giant bell. It's, there's nothing inside of it. The temple, you can't go in there. There's no chambers built on top of a mound. It should be quite obvious now that this is used to focus something. And here's how deep the Buddhist knowledge actually goes. This is called laser interferography. Interferography. We shoot a laser of one frequency and split it into two frequencies and then bounce it off a mirror. And if we move those mirrors, the pattern the laser makes can be used to measure very small distances. When the waves sync up, they make a focal point, that red wave. When they're offset, it creates interference or a gap where the red line isn't there. When you measure that on a detector, it looks like this. So it has a resonance, it focuses light on a volcanically active fault line.